Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel, The Francophile Reader. So, I did a poll recently and um, enough of you said that you'd like to see writing, academic writing related videos that I'm going to go do that. So today is Saturday and I am starting this vlog. So I'm currently working on an article that I will be sending my first not really my first draft because technically I'd written this as a paper for a course, but my first polished draft um, of an article to my advisor on March 2nd. That's the deadline that I have set for myself. And then I'm going to probably get it ripped to shreds and then I will have to go back to the drawing board. Um, but I'm trying to submit the best piece that I can so that hopefully there's less revisions. We'll see. So um, I don't want to give away what my paper is about, but it's about this trial in 1560. Um, it was written by Jean de Corras, and it's about the story of Martin Guerre. If you're interested in the story of Martin Guerre, I will link the video below that I did on Natalie Zeman Davis's book, The Return of Martin Guerre, uh, which I recommend for getting a background about this story. So yeah, I'm working on the um, this project and let me show you what I have so far. So this is the paper that I had written for the course. Um, I have, it's it's very different in certain ways at the moment. As you can see, there, there's quite a lot of notes, mostly just, you know, kind of a summary of what I needed to work on. Um, and this is the most recent printout of my paper. Uh, you don't see much written, but actually this paper needs a lot of work. Like, what I need to do is really focus in on individual paragraphs, because at the moment I know exactly what I need to add, what I need to remove, etc. But I haven't, because I just keep doing other things around the project, like rewriting an outline, like I did here. I rewrote an outline. Helpful, but I need to actually go back into each of the paragraphs and focus it, you know, make sure that um, everything is going back to the same point. So anyway, that is my project for today and I will let you know how it goes. Well, hello everybody. Today is Sunday. I never told you what I did on Saturday, but on Saturday I worked on the part of my paper where I summarized the different editions of the Arrêt Memorable. So in 1561, which was the first edition, there were only a hundred annotations that Jean de Corras included in his trial. But then all the subsequent editions after 1565 included 111 annotations. And so I was just making sure that I got all of that straight. I also deleted many paragraphs. I tend to be pretty ruthless when it comes to paragraphs that don't belong in my paper, I will delete them. I have a document called Discarded, where I put those paragraphs that I have deleted from my main paper, just in case I want to go back to it. And I almost never do. That doesn't mean that there aren't extraneous things in my paper, but I just feel like if I notice that certain paragraphs don't belong, I have to delete them. Otherwise, I just don't know how to proceed, so I did that. I'm happy with my progress, and um, I'm still optimistic that I will be able to make the March 2nd deadline. Okay, so today is Thursday. I took a couple days off from writing, uh, mostly because I thought I would be taking four classes for credit, and I just realized I couldn't do it. I'm also taking a paleography class, and the text that was given to me well, this is the second semester, so I'm basically starting at the second semester, and it's 16th century secretary hand, so it is impenetrable. Um, I mean, if I find an image, I will, I will put it in. Uh, I just, I couldn't figure it out, and I was spending an hour, and I couldn't even figure out a few words. So this semester, I definitely want to attend the class and to learn more, but I just, I can't take the exam, so. I decided I'm going to take two classes this semester and I should be fine. Um, I have all my credits anyway. 
and I could always transfer credits for my master's program if need be. But yeah, I was just so overwhelmed with all the different things I have to learn um, that aren't necessarily assigned. Um, you know, Latin, for example, that somehow I just feel like I'm not learning enough Latin, whatever. So I was distracted and I couldn't get back to my paper. But today I really want to get back into it um, because these are projects that are so important. And I feel like this with graduate school is like, you have all of these classes that you have to take. There's, you know, but then they're important. I don't want to deny that they're important, but there's other things that are more important, like publishing, like learning the language that you need to learn so you can be able to read the documents you need to read, to be able to even read the script of the documents. These things feel even more important. And there are things I'm learning so late in the process. This is my third year. I'm nearing the end of my third year of my PhD. And in the US, that's where you begin your thesis. So I'm like right at the very end. Uh, I have a PhD exam, so I'm reading a million books for that. It's very overwhelming. Um, and that, I guess, is my excuse for why I put aside this paper for a bit. Um, but then, again, it's so important that I get back into it. So this is how I'm feeling. I'm just very mm, stressed out. And there's just too many things I have to do at the same time. <laughs> so I need to schedule it in and prioritize what's the most important. I'm glad that I decided I would only take two classes for credit instead of three. Because while paleography is very, very important, as I just said, extremely important, I wouldn't be able to do the exam, I don't think, by the end of the semester. And I needed to prioritize my reading list for my PhD exam at the end of the spring and prioritize my paper. Well, as you can tell, today was Wednesday, hence the ashes, it's Ash Wednesday. Uh, I did end up working on my paper. I started to feel motivated when I started working on my paper. Um, while I was on the tram going to university, I watched Kate Kavanaugh's vlog where she talked about her struggles with writing and her, you know, feeling like she can't do all these different things at the same time and feeling overwhelmed with all of the clutter that she had. And it was just so relatable. I felt this just on a very profound level that I'm currently struggling with trying to balance all of the things. And then I feel demotivated because I just don't know where to begin. But I realize that I feel so much better when I just do the thing that I know I need to get done. And so having worked on my paper today, I feel like it was a good day. Um, I finished the part of my paper where I engage with existing scholarship uh, and where I identify the hole in the scholarship what I propose to look at, the question that I feel hasn't been dealt with. Um, so I feel like today was a good day, ultimately, and because it's Wednesday, I actually have more days in the week. Um, so that's that's wonderful, but the deadline is March 2nd. I'm not sure I will make it, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to have to put in the footnotes as well, so there's just a lot of work to be done. Well, today is March 2nd, and there is no way that I'm going to be able to finish this paper today. I'm going to the library to pick up yet another book. Since I have found this really major study dealing with my topic, I need to make sure that there aren't any other studies that I need to also take into account. I'm giving myself a few more weeks to work on this paper, it's just that I realized that the direction that my paper was going is not the direction that it needs to go. Basically, I was trying to claim something about what the annotations were trying to do, but instead I should be showing how they do it. And I'm going to be focusing more on the showing. Yeah, um, I'm still working on the paper and um, I'm hoping to be done in the next couple months.